All right. Um, now we are on Photoshop, and what we're going to do is basically create more irregularity and um, a bit of composite between the renders. So I want to have more balance between uh, the render with the first and without. So um, what I usually do is activate here the layer and create the mask. And then I'm going to, I'm going to erase and paint where I don't want to. Same for the rock. I will not spend too much time on this because I, I think that's pretty much done. And now, um, this brush here, mixer brush, I'm gonna make the tip a bit smoother. So to give to uh, the the water effect. I'm doing it in a new layer. Uh, sample all layers, so you can, of course, um, um, have them in a separate later layer. In another layer, I'm going to paint more particles here and there. Imagine this guy's walking and it's moving this kind of um, particles. Then I go back to this much layer. Ah, sorry, mix a brush. So once we are happy with the results, we can just check brightness and contrast. Here, it's really up to you what kind of mood you want to um, sell to the client or um, what kind of uh, lighting you want to you wanna have. Because for example, here we can like make it like more dark and contrasty like imagine like we are really deep and the water is really um dense and dirty so um it's really up to you in this case i would like to keep a documentary effect so i think i'm gonna give just a little bit of brightness and then using the mask painting out oops here the tail
last things we can do is to find an um, um, image of underwater uh, particles on, on Google. And like in this case, I found this quite low res uh, image, but um, I'm going to keep it on purpose low res because what I want to do now is to create some uh, noise on the background and give some of uh, uh, the real camera effect. So I'm going to go for the screen mode. Uh, I'm going to make it bigger. And basically what I want to do is just keep some of the particles at the top. Something like this. Yeah. And after this, Ctrl Shift Alt E. So we have visible layer. Then we go to image, out of color. I like to do this and then just uh, put down the opacity to zero and go up a little bit just to so have a color variation. And then duplicate luminosity. And again, Try to keep some of the contrast. And that's done. Um, with this other image, um, we already have a really nice base. What I'm going to do is to, again, break a little bit of um, those lines we, we created with the particles. And to do so, I'm going to do with a, a mixer brush or a smudge tool, whatever you prefer. New layer, simple all layer, so you can keep everything um, on a different layer. And then I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna add this layer here. Yeah, like this. And again, same process of uh, creating a visible control Alt Shift E image. Auto color. Uh, we're gonna drop it down just a little bit. Duplicate the Ctrl J layer luminosity, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I'm gonna um, show a bunch of images I've done applying the same workflow and. Uh, again, I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you learned a bunch of workflows and tricks. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos. Bye.